and good morning people, welcome back to Star Ocean, till the end of time, where we are doing mini games in Gemacy. We've done runic chess, and we've done, uh, at least had a look at the bunny races. Runic chess I can see us uh, see me doing a few more times to get the all the rewards available for that, but bunny races, no, not going to happen. But now it's time for something that's actually interesting. Let's go to the arena. The arena is probably this place where you will spend a lot of the time in a lot of your time in Gemini. We've already chosen our, our team name. We are the Rebels Without a Cause. And we don't need any explanation, we've already seen what's happened with it. Let's do a single, ba uh, single battle. We're fate, I think. And we can go into any of these. Uh, the enemies do get harder. I'm just going to show the D rank for the... Uh, to see, uh, show you what is happening in the actual thing. I will do it in the team rank, uh, team in D rank as well, and then I will go on to ranked battles. The single and the uh, team battles aren't really important. It's the ranked which are the most important things around in this section. And you might recognise where we're fighting. Yeah, we see this place a lot, don't we? So, what do we have here? We've got a fire zombie. Uh, yeah, this isn't gonna survive. Yeah. D rank is very easy, so I'm not expecting any sort of uh, challenge here. Nova Blaze, which I believe has 90 MP, so it's dead. MP damage. So, what's our next fight? Well, it survived that, because I knew it would. Yes, a magma man. It has a bit more of a ability to survive, but uh Yeah, it's dead. Alright! Psychic spam for the win. Basically we're fighting the enemies that were in the Urza Lava Caves, except maybe this. The Stinger! Yep. It's only one and these have sort of uh, lost their sort of danger factor now. I've been facing the upgraded ones, I've been facing Proclaimers. Stingers are no problem. So what's our last fight? Well, it's a destroyer. This one might be a bit danger, but uh, really, I've been facing the new ones. The only danger is really their uh, their machine guns or rockets, and yeah. That's it. That's the D rank complete. And we get a small prize. Magical berries. Which isn't actually too bad of a uh, fight. No, uh, uh, fight reward, so... Yeah. One thing you do have to do after this, though, is... Heal. You do not get healed up between battles. 
Anyways, on to the team battle, I think. D rank again, because why not? Challengers put Nell, Pepita and Sophia up, because they're the current team members. It always chooses the current team for team battles. Guard will be a key word today. Yeah, these two are actually very important to the uh, ranked battles, but we'll get into that very much later. But here we go. Yep, it's two of these this time. So. Uh, yeah, I'm not really worried about this fight. Especially when they're weak against ice and uh, pretty much everything that uh, now want, uh, wants to do is uh, sort of ice based. And I have deep freeze on Peter. Uh, sorry, on uh, Sophia. So yeah, that works. But yeah, what's our next fight? The second one. Once we get through there talking. You don't really. Yeah, it's the pretty much the same fight as, again. And yeah, this isn't really going to be a changer at all. Because, well, we know those enemies don't really hurt me. There we go. What goes around comes around. I am getting experience, I am getting money for this though, so it's not too bad. Come on, stop talking. Thank you. They have a very unique uh, you don't really to mess with them, do you? thing. Uh, uh, relationship, those two. And I thought we were in for a challenge. But Magma Man. I could beat him with just fate, so the team here was no trouble at all. I do believe that the last, next one will be um, Stingers. Yeah. You don't really want to mess with us, do you? Uh, but these are weak against ice as well, so uh, I have nothing to worry about there. They literally... Yeah, three ice daggers kills them. So... Death awaits the overconfident. Yeah. Remember that. But we've got a couple of levels, nothing gained though from that really. So we've got one more rank, uh, one more fight. And we had a destroyer with fate. I do believe this next one is going to be two of them. Yeah. Of course, I do actually want to uh, survive. So, let's get some healing down. Oh, 
the end area. That's a bit nasty, but uh, let's go for the other one. Yep, there we go. What goes around comes around. Everything in D was weak against ice, so Things it really helped, helped them, did it? But that is Rank D of the Team Battles complete. Synthesis materials doesn't really help me because I've already maxed those. So that's a team battle. Again, I am going to need to heal between fights, but uh, that's not really too much trouble. Fate can come in, and let's go on to the rank battles where things actually get interesting. We're down the bottom, we're rank 51 of 50. As you can see, there have been some moves and you know, movers and shakers of the teams. They do this constantly. Some teams will go up, some teams will go down. What we're fighting is anything above us. We can fight up to rank 47. And anyone below us, but since there's no one below us at the moment, we can't really fight, uh, fight them yet. Let's go for the bandits. It is your team that will be fighting. And again, it's Derner and Solon. And you get a bit of a background about the enemy, uh, you met the enemies that you're fighting, but Really, all that really matters is the fight itself. So let the fighting begin. Thieving scumbags. Yes, these are the things that were on uh, Vanguard 3. Nothing to worry about here. 300 health. Bye. That was easy. Yeah, the early fights are really simple. And because of that, the prize money isn't amazing. So, let's go on to the next one. As we are fighting, so are the other. Uh, so are so are others. No, I don't want a single battle. That's the only trouble with this. I tend to try and click through the uh, things a bit too quickly and always hit single battle. But yeah, we've gone up. Bandits have gone down. As we are fight, as we do fights in the overworld, as we. Uh, do things and do other things, the chat and the ranks will change. The longer the time goes by, the more thing, uh, more uh, more changes happen usually. But our next team aim against is AAA, AAA, AAA. Seems like a troll team, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a test team and they kind of forgot about it. It's a, actually a team that's going to be deleted. But we're going to fight it anyway. How that happens, I have no idea, but... Let's fight some Sphevian scumbags and the Nobleman. Yeah. They're dead.
got a few more experience points there, 12, but uh, really? It's going to be a while before we actually get some decent uh, fights. There is one fight I'm looking forward to in particular, which I believe I showed when I first came here and chose the team name. So, let's just go through and uh, fight Ghost Hunters. You do get some unique uh, monsters here as well, so it's not completely out of the question that you're going to fight some tough stuff. They're actually ghosts who happen to be hunters. So... Yeah, let's just get on with the fight. Let's not worry about all these uh, messages. And yet, yeah, as you can see, they're paralysed because of, of uh, oh, what's it called, uh, the dimension door. Come on. There we go. That was easy. Pretty much the ghostly hags from the uh, Ursa Lava Caves, those were. Just four of them. So let's go on to the next one, because why not? There are times when you will fight and you will go up more than one uh, space, more than one rank. Sometimes you um, have, have faced the bandits and I've gone above the ghost hunters. It depends on what your what the points are at the at the time, I guess. But uh, let's go for Beowulf. Yeah, yeah, let's actually get into the fight, please. Do you believe these are kobolds? Yep. Um... Yeah. They're dead. Those are the kobolds from the uh, forest. Near Paterni. And we get 80 fold for that. You get more fold from the actual battles than the uh, rewards, usually. So, where do we go next? Well, when we get into rank battles. Yeah, as you can see, I went up two spaces. I could have faced. Uh, I haven't had to face secure or not, even though I am going to, because I want to show each of the fights as I go up, up until at least getting Twin Beast. So secure or not? Fighting enemies, uh, fighting things below you does not give you points. You do not get rank very many bank points, or if any at all. Why is in the security service? Yeah. So I will not be getting uh, going up in banks when I'm facing enemies below me. You can go down, I do believe, if you lose. So, yeah, don't do that. Anyway, 
Let's go and fight the security forces. These are pretty much similar to the fight uh, once you fought uh, against the uh, when you first got to the 40 space. But uh, they're pretty much exactly the same. We and but they are slightly stronger, I guess. They can actually can take damage. And I hate them guns. There we go. Those guns will get more annoying later on in the game. When we will be facing more of the security people. Because remember, we are actually here to uh, try and save the universe. It's not like we're going to walk in and press a switch and everything's going to be alright. Although that would be fun. Okay. So that was secure or not. So what's our next group? And again... Thank you, battle. Twin Beast. Again, we just go through talking. They send a message. Usually, that message has nothing to do with the actual match. And then we actually get into the fight. And this is Twin, this is Twin Beast. Be warned. I won't hold anything back. So, yeah, these aren't really too hard. Demonic hounds. These are the ones based in the ruins of Mosul. That was fun. Nothing. Especially dangerous there. So let's go on to the next one uh, as quickly as possible. And yeah, I because uh, for some reason I didn't actually get enough rank points to go above Twin Beast. But since I've faced them now, I'm just going to go on to Frog Warriors. Since you can face enemies uh, up to f four levels above you. Which is helpful. And into the fight we go. Okay, uh, I don't believe these are really any dangerous. Yeah, Spawn, Toad Beast. I believe these are basically what we faced in the uh, I could use a little sparring practice. Ruins of Bar. Well, the Spawn are, and the Toad Beast is uh, from even earlier in the game, so yeah. That's nothing. So that should rank us up a little bit. Because you uh, rank, uh, the rankings do change. You may be facing enemies that are a bit stronger than some of the ones above it. So, let's say Arch Summoners is more powerful than Angels of, Angels of Flame because, but Angels of Flame have gone up, up in the uh, rankings at some point, and Arch, you'll face Arch Summoners first because they're below. That happens on occasion, and 
but you just have to roll with it and fight things as they come. Berserkers. Come on. Smash, smash, smash. Okay. I do believe these are actually called Berserkers. These enemies. Yeah. Yeah, and again, we faced these before, they just, uh, I did. Can't wait to see you again. So, 150 fold for that one. So we are slowly going up in money. Right, let's get some uh, health back. And go on to Tiamat. I can now go for to get him twin beasts, but I want to fight my way up to them. Show the enemies that are so much so easy that you should get to this point. And then the reason why I like to get him twin beasts. Yep, we're facing some humanoids. And I've uh, pretty much uh, paralysed that and it's useless. Yeah, lizard soldiers and the UNT. A bit more dangerous, but uh, it's uh, paralysed and dead. So 180 fold for that. Ranking battle, Arch Summoners. So, let's get in, into it. We've got some Devil Childs and a level 15 Mage. Really? They're not really that dangerous. Devil Childs are a bit more... Uh, Dangerous than the uh, the actual uh, what's it called the mage, but the mage heals the devil child. So it's best to get that out first. Five hundred and sixty experience for that one. So for all my efforts at the moment, my experience gain isn't that amazing. But you're thinking, why are you doing this then? Well, we will be getting to a point in a moment where things change. Angels of Flame. This isn't uh, a really hard fight. I believe these are enemies in the other lava caves. Oh, no. 
Ha! He's a Robin Witch! Three hundred thousand exp uh, uh, health. Dimension door. So these are a bit harder. So at least I'm getting some decent fight here. Let's get some fury back. These are basically the uh, boss fight double. Because, well, there are two of them. I should be able to win this fight pretty handily, though. I've got a few uh, points. Okay. A few levels before that, but uh, that's a bit of a problem. Restoration. I did put the... Yes, I did put the rapid notification on. That's good. As you can see, that's a lot quicker to cast than it was before. Uh, let's uh, get some. Let's use a fresh sage here. Dimension door. Once one goes out, I'll be. Out. I should be alright. And there goes uh, Fate again. Yeah, Aerial Slash is the pain in the backside, it seems. Let's go you and you. That didn't help. Okay. And I'm walking into Aerial Slash. Again. Seriously? This one, this fight seems a bit harder than I remember it. And again. Okay. Luckily I'm near a uh, place where I can get my health back, so uh, there is that. Okay, fresh sage on you. Come on, hit with that flipping thing. Yeah, I am failing pretty hard on this fight. Luckily I only need to do this fight once because I don't believe it uh, does too much. There you go, one's down. How long have I got until the next one spawned? 150,000. 
Come on. For some reason, I'm not hitting that thing. Dimension door. I think it's because of the wall. I've always had trouble with with enemy uh, enemies against this wall. But at least I should be able to win now. Thank you. Right. Okay. Now you're away from the wall. You're dead. Well, hopefully, if I can hit you. Well, this fight's taking a bit too long, but oh well. I guess it's all part of my training. Yeah. All that for 800 f experience. And that is pretty pitiful, isn't it? Well, at least I've got the win. So, what's our next one? Well, first... We need to set a heal and... Go on to the next fight. Knights of Babylon. I do believe this fight is much, much easier. So, let's get into it. Boggle soldiers. Two, uh, two of them, different colours. Yeah, rather than that, 30,000. Much better than 300,000 to go through. And that's them down. And that was 800 experience. So, the choice between Babylon soldiers and angels. Uh, Angels of Flame for 800 experience. You can go for two enemies that have 30,000 or two enemies that have 300,000. There should not really be a uh, choice there. It, you should. Babylon soldiers every time, or Babylon knights, or however it's done. But there is better, and I do believe I finally get to the reason why I spend a lot of time in here. If I press the right button. Ranking battle. And I've already gone above, above them. Get them, Twin Beast. This fight is not easy, oh, if this is the one I'm thinking of, this fight is not easy. So, let's get into it, shall we? Yes, this is the one. Two green beasts. Medusa Beasts. 120,000. They get frozen very easy and get paralysed very easy. You might notice the bonus gauge rate is up there as well, as well so you can get triple XP on this, please. Wild Fangs is probably their most dangerous attack. It can, it can have a one-hit KO, I believe, on these. So, 
So, don't think that this fight is ever easy. They have charge as well. But once there, we, that fight's done. 6,666 experience. For a fight that, uh, that's pretty simple. It, once you get triple XP on that, you get 20,000 experience. This is my favourite place to get levels. I usually spend a little bit of time here to get up to level 70 on all my characters. And I will be doing so again. Well, level 70 on the two main ones and probably 65 on my other two, and my other level. But that is what I will be doing between parts. I will be getting lots of levels. I might just go up to 65 this time and give myself a bit of a, a bit more of a challenge going into the next areas. But yeah, spend a, no, I spent a bit of time there fighting, getting to Wind Beast, and getting levels. And through that, I get lots of money because they give you 20,000 for each. Just remember to get your health back between the fights because they do hurt. And then, and if you really need items, you've got shops just down the road to restock on any uh, health potions, any fresh sages that you use. So do do that. And if you really need to, there's the free heal back at, uh, back there as well if you need it. So I'm going to spend a bit of time here and do a bit of grinding and get at some levels. So until next time when, well, well, we might actually go back to the Eternal Sphere, who knows. Have a wonderful day, have lots of fun, goodbye.